Ever since I've been making these print-in-place engines, the V8 configuration has been the one that has been the most requested that I make. And I finally made it. The design of this V8 focuses on being quick and easy to print, unlike the first few versions that were designed to be a challenge that would push both the user and the printer to its limits. This whole journey of overly complicated print-in-place mechanisms started out with the Benjean 3-cylinder engine benchmark. That was transformed into the V-Twin and its skeletonized cousin. But when the process of turning this benchmark into a V6 or even a V8 started, it quickly became apparent that everything would have to be redesigned from the ground up to make this V8 possible. So with that in mind, the fastest and easiest to print single cylinder model was developed. This print only took 30 minutes to print, and it laid the foundation for what was going to be the new inline 3 and inline 4 engines, that then were further developed into the V6 and finally the V8. Oh, and also this silly looking V12 thing. Which, by the way, is a nightmare to print. So for now, it's only up on Patreon. Anyway, back to my pillow fort recording studio. And while I have your attention, look at this graph! This V8 uses bigger pistons than the inline engine that I introduced earlier. These bigger pistons are possible due to the V-angle giving more room for each cylinder. You can see in this comparison how a V6 engine is just slightly longer in length than an inline tree. And that extra length can be utilized by simply increasing the cylinder size. This V8 uses a crossplane crankshaft. A crossplane crankshaft is a crankshaft where the crank pins are in two planes, forming a cross shape if you look down the length of it. In real engines, crossplane crankshafts are used for a more even firing order that results in a smoother running engine. This is the opposite of a flat plane crankshaft, where the crank pins are, you guessed it, in a single flat plane. V8 flat plane crankshafts are usually used in race car engines due to crankshafts being able to be created lighter and thereby better suited for high RPMs. For 3D printing, a flat plane crankshaft would have been a lot easier to design. But if you look at this inline 4 engine that also uses a flat plane crankshaft, you can see that the movement of the pistons are a lot less satisfying to look at. So for the V8, I had to put in the extra effort to make it a cross plane crankshaft. To be able to do this, I had to create very small islands that the crankshaft would be able to attach to. This would allow the crankshaft to be printed at these very steep angles, that would otherwise make bed adhesion a nightmare. Check the links in the description for these engines. I'll release a keychain version of all of these in a few weeks. And while you're on Thingiverse, please do hit the small heart icon, it really helps out a lot. Thank you all for watching. If you're sitting there and wondering what to watch next, go check out Proper Printing's YouTube channel. This crazy guy 3D printed a rim for his car and put it on the car and well, I'm not gonna spoil the video. Go, go check him out. I didn't have any better integration, but I just thought everybody should know about this YouTube channel. So yeah, go check him out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. And see you guys at a later time. Bye.